and today we're here at the Alameda Flea Market. Let's see who we can find. The Alameda Point Antiques Fair takes place on the first Sunday of every month and boasts over 800 vendors. Established in 2000, the market sells a wide range of vintage goods, with loyal customer and stall owners returning each Sunday year after year. I went to learn more about these vendors and what keeps them coming back. I think I come in for uh, three or four years now. ¿Te gusta la comunidad? Sí, uh, es muy uh, amable la gente. The 80s, 70s back. The people buy the old jewelry, mm -hmm. 1960s, 1970s, 80s, mm -hmm. again. When come and see you this place, it's pretty good for the old and uh, young people. Well, I've been coming to Alameda for 30 years. The reason being, I get to meet a lot of people, mm -hmm. nice people like you, nice people, doctors, lawyers, and we treat them just as bad as any other, anybody <laughs> else. And they keep coming back. I happen to be Native American. I happen to be full-blooded Apache, so so I, I'm kind of like um, enjoy the culture of the American Indian, and that, therefore I, I sell some silver uh, bracelets and turquoise and things like that. Mm. And how did you begin selling secondhand items? Um, I used to have a large coin store in Santa Clara, and then uh, people were bringing in jewelry. I've had some pretty pretty. Pretty famous people come through, and uh, they enjoy what I, the BS I give them. <laughs> we do 1950s. We do a little of everything, but we especially in 1950s and uh, antique fishing tackle. You'll see over on the other side, and I do have a lot of beautiful vintage, not vintage, antique jewelry that's mm. beautiful, golds and jades and pearls and. Rubies and all kinds of gold, but really nice stuff. But I reupholster these dinette sets, and I custom design them for people, and we have all wow. kinds of colors and designs, and um, we send them all over the United States. It's nice to buy vintage because it's made to last. Mm. It was an era where people didn't want to have to keep buying things. To They wanted to save, be able to have a savings and leave things to their children, and these things just last. Yeah. Like the today, everything's a throwaway. Well, it's been two years I'm coming here. I sell vintage rocks. So this is the best place you can sell vintage things in uh, San Francisco, Bay Area. And you can find you know, people from uh, different countries. I'm from Turkey. There's one guy there in, from Morocco. Mm. Another one from Afghanistan. And um, it's a nice place. Mm. Yeah, good community. V new things, for example, for rocks, like they're not good, uh, made as good. And these are all handmade. Yeah, I've been coming to Alameda for the past 10 years. Um, we sell African stuff from different parts of West Africa, um, all vintage or authentic handmade stuff. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you have a favorite item in your stall right now? I love that you're all proud my of? items. All the items I bring from the furniture to the um, fabrics, um, the baskets, we love them all. All these are from the villages, mostly like um, the fabrics, we trade. Well, with some food, like the locals um, in the village, they don't need cash, they need some food, we trade. Um, the the um, stools, um, some of them go back to the community to help out, so we try to help each other. I've been coming to Alameda for almost 15 years. We're actually uh, designers and makers of all that rusty bird stuff, like here, you know. I got into this because I worked at high tech for many, many, many years and I got sick and tired of it and I decided to do something else that's, uh, you know, more of a low tech outdoor kind of stuff. So nice. I enjoy it. Alameda to me is um, maybe, a bel believe it or not, we, we don't, we're not here for money here because we enjoy the environment, we enjoy the, the nature of people. This has been Ava Andrews for Cal TV News with special thanks to Leah Shamir for camera work.